I've got a 2008 Dodge 3500 with the 6.7 liter turbo diesel in it. And I picked up a diagnostic code P0471, which is my O2 sensor. And that's what we're looking at right here. Just to give you an idea of where it is. And the engine's on the passenger side in the front. So we're gonna check it in, see if it has a carbon buildup. To remove this wiring harness from here, it's got a red clip. You push that over so it's flush like that it's that easy now it's sticking out on that side and then it's a double lock the red is the first release and then you just squeeze this and pull it right off of there okay now if you research what size socket you need for this o2 sensor you're going to find out that it says seven eighths or 22 millimeter both the same size but you'll find out when you try to put that 22 millimeter slash 7 8 inch socket on there that it does not fit it hangs up on this plastic part and if you get the other offset piece it'll go down over the plastic part but it does not fit onto the nut so what i had to buy to fit down over all of that was the oil pressure switch socket right there and once I figured that out it worked beautifully so I'm going to go ahead and take that O2 sensor out and we'll pick up the video from there okay this is what it looks like out I'm gonna clean that up some but you can see the socket has got rounded corners which fits right on to the sensors nut and the wiring harness clip is up inside of there so this is what it looks like down inside of that port you can see down in there well remember if you go through and you try to buy that 22 millimeter slash 7 eighths and it doesn't fit you got to go with the oil pressure switch socket so i'm going to grab a wrench and we're going to loosen this up right here because we're going to try to get that all cleaned out and this is where the exhaust is fed into that port where the sensor then reads it so I'll pick it up from there okay i use the number 12 millimeter wrench on that and it's it's now loose now on my motor you can see i'm going to use the flashlight for you so you can see on my motor this tube right here see it's got a bracket right there they put on some models they put a nut on there that holds that in place if yours has a nut on there take that off of there so you have some some wiggle room so that way when you pull that out it's not putting too much torque on the piping you don't want to crimp that or bend it so you just need a little bit of play and you pull it right out and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to stick it all through there and then we're going to look back down through that hole again and i'm going to try to break up some of that carbon buildup. so i'll pick the video up from there okay what i've done is i don't know if you can see down in there but let's see you might be able to see the tip of the all oh, here let me see if i put that like that i don't know if you can see that moving down in there i've got a little little all that i'm pushing through that opening and you can start to see the you can see the tip in there moving I got that so it's poking through now took my other one I came in at, at it from the other side just to clean that out there it goes right. just 
keep working it in. Scrape it down. All right. What I'm going to do is get my air compressor now and I'm going to blow that right out. So I'll pick it up from there. Okay, I don't know if you can see what I'm looking at there, but the, the opening isn't very large inside that port. So I got it all scraped out from this side and from the top. Let me get a flashlight. So I scraped that all out real good. And when I use the air compressor to blow it out, I blew it from this side here. I pushed that down out of the way, put the nozzle in there, blew it into the port and come up out where the sensor is. And then when I cleaned out this area, because I did it from both directions, I made sure I pulled this back and put my finger over that just so I wouldn't blow debris into the tubing. So that's all cleaned out now. I've cleaned the base of this up, scraped all the carbon off of that, just using my fingernail. Wiped it all down and I am going to reassemble the sensor. And this sensor gets torqued down to 13 foot pounds. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get it hand tight like that. And I'll torque it down to 13 foot pounds and pick it up from there. Okay, got the wrench all hooked up and we're torquing it down. A little bit blurry in through here, so we're at our magic number. There we go. And now we put the clip back on. And that little double lock back over like that okay sticking out the other side again and now we're going to check the tubing and make sure that's got airflow coming up from the exhaust because what that does is comes out of right here goes behind all of this comes here that's where the it years might have a bolt on it comes into here and it feeds into here which is then read by your sensor so I'm gonna see if that's got airflow coming out of there make sure we don't have a clogged hose on that try to see if we can show the now let's try to see if we got any air coming up out of that yeah, I can feel it with my fingers. It's, it's not a lot of airflow, but it does push it up through. So I'm gonna shut the engine down and I'm gonna refasten this back up before my air coat comes back on. Okay, we've refastened that 12 millimeter nut, which connects this pipe back in. Now by having airflow coming out of that, that means that this pipe is clear all the way back from where it comes out here. So it's pushing air out from here, around through, and I have airflow there, which tells me that's good. This is all cleaned out now, and we're all refastened. So if I get P0471 code again from my O2 sensor, then that means the sensor itself is bad because everything else has been cleaned and is carbon free. So it all started, and this, I can't stress this point enough, by getting the oil pressure switch socket. The O2 sensor socket did not fit. The 22 millimeter slash 78 socket did not fit on the 6.7 liter turbo diesel 2008. I had to swap it out and get this one. So until next time.